Hey you guys, I'm Savvy and welcome to my YouTube travel channel. Before I start the video, let me tell you that we have two very popular YouTube videos on North Goa and South Goa from India. I'm leaving the links in the description box below. Do check it out. Now when we talk about Goa, Goa is a very popular tourist destination both for Indians as well as for the foreign tourists in India. We all know that. Now we received a lot of questions whether you should choose North Goa or South Goa when you are planning a trip for the first time to Goa. And sometimes even if you have visited Goa, we receive these questions if you should choose South Goa or North Goa. So here we are sharing in this video 7 tips that will help you to choose whether you want to visit North Goa or South Goa or both depending on your choices. Now Indian state of Goa has two districts, North Goa and South Goa. Panjim is the capital of Goa and is the headquarter of North Goa district. Now if we talk about the North Goa beaches, let me give you some of the names so that you can relate. The popular beaches are Baga, Kalangur, Kandolim in North Goa and also you might hear of Anjuna, Morjim, Ashwem, Arambol etc. When we talk about South Goa, there are many many unexplored beaches actually. The very popular ones would be Ulba, Palolim, Agonda, Kola, etc. So without any further delay, let's get to the points. Okay, so coming to the first point between North Goa and South Goa. Are you looking for a more happening place or a more peaceful one? See, at different phases of life, we are looking for different experiences and our choices vary a lot. It also depends a lot on the company. For example, if you are traveling with a family, with kids, friend circle, a lot of friends around or colleagues, you might be looking for a place which is more happening, electrifying beaches, crowd and a lot happening around. But maybe if you are a couple traveler or maybe after crossing a certain age, you might be looking for more peaceful beaches and accordingly your choices of North Goa and South Goa should vary. North Goa is more popular, it is more crowded and apparently more lively than South Goa. And what can I say about South Goa? South Goa has beautiful beaches. It is famous for its serenity, calmness, peacefulness, less noise and uncrowded beaches. The next point and a very important point is the nightlife or the crazy party scenes in Goa. North Goa should be the place to take some of the names, the very popular and crowded Tito's Lane in North Goa as well as Mambo beach club then there is club cabana there is curly's beach shack there is club lpk there is sink and a lot more the list is never ending trust me guys it is so so happening and you can sit anywhere in north goa and have a great time so these clubs and shacks has the best djs loud music flashy disco lights dancing on the floor and a lot more so you can have a great time there whereas south goa as I mentioned already is more peaceful and you have only countable number of party places. The Leopard Valley Club, the Gatsby's Club, these are some of the popular party places in South Goa. Well, there are other names also. But one thing to note that is quite unique is the silent noise parties where you can put on your wireless headphone and you can dance in the dance floor. Now the third point is the accommodations whether you are looking for luxury beach resorts, beach huts or any other types of budget accommodations. So let me tell you that the options are endless in Goa, both in North Goa and South Goa. You can opt for budget friendly accommodations like beach shacks, rented apartments, guest houses, hotels and resorts in North Goa. Completely depending on your budget, you can choose any of the property and it is relatively less expensive than South Goa. In South Goa, the beach resorts are expensive and very very luxurious. It is perfect to spend time in the pool and walk to the beach and take that long walk along the beach. The beach huts are also mostly little expensive compared to North Goa, but what all the beautiful peaceful moments. Now the fourth point, what are the family beaches and what are the bikini beaches in Goa? Now trust me, these are very frequently asked questions to us and I thought I would like to give you some of my preferences over here. Now let me tell you one thing over here that bikini is a swimwear and it should completely depend on the comfort of the person who is wearing it. My personal opinion would be to wear a dress or a shrug or a sarong on top of a bikini until you reach the beach water and then you can remove it and go to the ocean for the swim. However, in my personal opinion, you can avoid, yes, avoid wearing bikini in some of the North Goa beaches like Kalangur, Baga, Kandolin and in South Goa, 
Kolba because these are very popular beaches so you will find lots and lots of people around. Now my favorite bikini beaches would be Arambol Sweet Lake, Keri Beach as well as Ashwin Beach in North Goa and in South Goa it has to be Abonda Beach and sometimes Palolim Beach as well. And now coming to the family beaches, it is exactly opposite to the bikini beaches you can say. You can choose Baga, Kalangut, Kandulim, Morjim in North Goa and in South Goa you can choose Polva, Palolim, Agonda, everything. The fifth point, let's talk about the shopping experience in North Goa and South Goa. So when we are talking about North Goa, there is street shopping everywhere in North Goa in all the lanes reaching to the popular beaches. Few to specifically mention would be Flea Market in Arjuna Beach, Baga Beach Lane, Kalangut Market Square, Candolim Beach Lane, Saturday Night Market, Mapusa Market, Arambol Beach Lanes. There are street stalls and permanent shops and usually you can do a lot of bargaining there. They sell tropical summer clothes for women and men, beach wear, souvenirs, hats, accessories, bags and whatnot. In South Goa, well, I have been to the beach lanes in Agonda Beach and Palolim Beach. So they are less crowded also because there is less crowd in South Goa. But the collection is really really unique and I truly enjoy shopping in South Goa. Now for the sixth point, let us talk a little bit about the food. Now first let me tell you that I am a non-vegetarian and my suggestions over here might be a little biased towards seafood but I am sure that good beach food is available everywhere in all the renowned restaurants in Goa both in North Goa and South Goa Now in North Goa, if we are not going for clubs and parties people usually choose to sit in a good beach shack All along the popular beaches during season time they set up candlelight dinner in the beach The catch of the day or available seafood are displayed outside you can go and choose your food and instruct them the way you want it to be cooked. We usually go for a big tandoori fish and some fish curry and rice. And the list and options are endless guys. You can choose any of the good places and sit over there and enjoy good Goan food over there. And in South Goa other cuisines are equally popular other than Goan food. People usually like to have their lunch and dinner in their accommodations itself, be it the beach shack or the luxury resorts. So in Agonda Beach, when we stayed in luxury accommodations, we usually had lunch and dinner in the accommodation itself. While staying in Pacific Sunset Beach Huts in Palolim Beach, we usually had lunch and dinner there in the accommodation in the beach shack or we also liked Baba Little Italy in Palolim Beach. But the options are many. So now coming to the seventh point, in the last point, I will be sharing my favorite from North Goa and my favorite from South Goa. But before coming to that point and ending the video, let me tell you that Goa has lot to offer other than the beautiful beaches and food. So you can go for the casinos, you can go to Panji, you can go to Old Goa, you can go to the churches, some small islands nearby and and also there are some riversides nearby, some backwaters as well as some nearby islands where you can visit. So you have a lot to explore in Goa. So my favorite in North Goa would be Arambol Sweet Lake. We have shown it in details in our video from North Goa. So we usually stay in a very budget accommodation, the beach hut over there. We go to the Sweet Lake, we go to the sea, we enjoy seafood and we also go to the banyan tree and explore the jungle over there. I hope you have checked it out in details in our North Goa video. And also, after crossing Arambol Beach, there is another beach called Keri Beach. It is also a little uncrowded and you can be completely on your own when you are going to the beach. So I love Keri Beach as well. Ashwim is also another favorite in North Goa. While in South Goa, our favorite would be any luxury beach accommodation in Agonda. We completely love that experience because you have your private beach as well as all the luxury facilities of your accommodation. Isn't it good? And second would be to stay in any of the beach huts in Palolim Beach and go for dolphin watching. We just love to go for fishing and dolphin watching. So guys, I hope that this little piece of information would be useful for you when you are planning a trip to North Goa or South Goa. My suggestions would be to go for both North Goa like 3 days in North Goa and 2 days in South Goa if you have 5 to 6 days. But if you don't have that much of time, you can choose North Goa and South Goa depending on all the information that I shared with you. And with that I end this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. Trust me, we are coming up with real good travel content from India and abroad.